Hello, quick five minute bridge lesson here. I'm going to skip my, <coughs> excuse me, usual introduction for the sake of brevity. Uh, what I want to talk about is transfers. So transfers and no trump. The reason I'm bringing them up is this is a good example. And also, strangely enough, I see a lot of um, people that are resistant to transfers on BBO. So I figured I'd cover them a little bit, talk about, you know, kind of what's going on and uh, show you. Uh, maybe you can learn a little bit about no Trump here. Again, this is strictly fundamental stuff. So if you're not at that level, this is not going to be helpful. If you are at that level, uh, listen on. So I bid one no Trump. I uh, was the dealer and I've got 10, 15 high card points, uh, 4333 three, three distribution. The diamonds are a little weak, but it is still a perfect no Trump hand. Uh, we get a pass over here and we get two diamonds from north. Two diamonds is a transfer. Two hearts. So, uh, pass. I accept the transfer. Generally, you uh, always are going to want to do that. And pass back around and north bids three no trump. So, what is that telling me about north's hand? North Def says we have enough for game. Transfer me to hearts and put us back into no trump. So this is very explicit information about North's hand. One, it says North has five hearts. Two, it says North has ten or more points. So let's see if that's true. One, two, three, four, ten, eleven. Uh, with that king, we're right on up to uh, staggeringly more than 11. Uh, 10, anyway, points. So, yeah, 10 points, and there's five hearts. So now my question is, what do I do with this three no trump bid? And the answer is very simple. Just look at my own hand. If north has five hearts and I have three hearts, we have an eight heart card fit. Uh, an eight uh, an eight heart card fit, generally speaking, is going to be better fit than a no trump fit, uh, especially if I'd had a doubleton or something. These diamonds don't have a good stopper, and I don't know what North has about diamonds, so it makes most sense to jump right in and uh, go up to four hearts. So that's what that transfer is. Now, a lot of people don't like transfers. Um, let, me, let me back up and read, just summarize a little bit. First off, so, so this is what the transfer is doing in the no Trump bidding situation. It's giving me two pieces of information right here, right? Five hearts and 10 or more points. I mean, that's a lot of information. So that's very good. And, and it's up to me to decide what to do with it. I can leave it in no Trump and just pass. Uh, if I only have, say, two hearts, um, you know, or, or weak hearts or whatever, and I don't want to play in hearts, leave it in no trump. Play in no trump. It's perfectly acceptable. Um, if I have the fit, then we should, generally speaking, we should go for the fit. Uh, and, and it's also, also particularly because I don't know necessarily North's shape. I mean, well, I know North has five hearts, but I don't know the North has a singleton. Right? Now let me let me go to to some of the interesting things about transfers. There's a lot of possibilities here. One no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, right? I could get two no trump. So what is two no trump telling me? Two no trump is telling me five hearts and eight points. So it's an invitation. It says, do you have Remember, invitations are asking you if you have the upper range that you've indicated. Are you at the higher end of that range? So I've indicated 15 to 17 with a no trump. So a two no trump is asking me, do you have 17 points? So that's telling me partner's got eight points. Uh, and preferably eight high card points because I could pass that two no trump. So I could say, well, I've only got 15, you've only got eight, I've only got a couple of hearts, 
Uh, I don't think we have game here. We're just going to, and I could just pass the two no trump. If I had 17 high card points, then I could either take it from two no trump to three no trump or two no trump up to four hearts. So that's another possibility in this in this world of no trump bidding. Uh, so with the transfers and the statement, especially the transfers can be very interesting. Um, another possibility, and this is, I think, what what uh, people that don't say they don't do transfers, I think this is what bothers them. One no trump, two diamonds transfer, two hearts, and then it could be pass, right? Pass, pass, uh, pass, pass, pass to me, and that's it. I'm stuck in two hearts, and I could have weak hearts. I could have two low hearts here, right? Oh, now I'm upset because I don't want to play two hearts with bad hearts. Well, typically, I'm going to tell you, no matter how bad your hearts are, even if you have seven of them and partner has a weak hand, you're going to have a little better you're going to have better chances than if you're in one no trump and partner has a weak hand, right? At least if you're in a trump suit and partner has a weak hand, then you've got trump. You've got kind of uh, more options to work with. Uh, not only that, uh, one no trump is 90 uh, points, whereas two hearts, two of a major would be 110 points. So, you know, there's, there's not only a better chance of making it, but a better chance of making more points. Um, so people say, oh, I don't like being stuck in a suit. I, had, I was all happy. Yeah, no, just, you know, understand what's going on there. And again, transfers are part of the standard American yellow card, part of the CC set of conventions. So you should... You definitely, you know, nail those down before you get weird and start throwing them out. Uh, I guess that's about uh, five minutes here. So um, I think this uh, went ahead and we made this without any major troubles. Looks like it. Let's go right on to the end. And 11 tricks claimed. Yeah, so four hearts plus one. All right, that's it. So uh, a little bit of discussion on uh, no Trump bidding. Thank you. Hope this was helpful.